friends very good morning in today's uh, tutorial we are going to discuss what defazification is so let's start uh, if you go to the basic introduction of defazification we can simply define defazification as the process of reducing a fuzzy set into crisp set or we can say to convert a fuzzy member into crisp member so see sometimes we may have some, this kind of situation in which we want our output as a crisp value okay uh, in some engineering application, it could be necessary to defuzzify the result uh, rather than fuzzy result. So in that case, uh, we have to convert that fuzzy value into crisp value. And this particular process of conversion in which we are converting some fuzzy value or some fuzzy sets into a crisp value or crisp set is called defuzzification. Right? So this is all about the definition of defuzzification. Uh, then we have to know why we need defuzzification. Again, as I'm telling you that the fuzzy result that generated, it might be possible uh, there are some uh, specific application where decision has to be taken only on crisp values. We cannot work on fuzzy values there. In that case, we must have to convert it into crisp values. For example, uh, there is a sentence, if temperature is high, then rotation is fast. Here, high could be fuzzy, but ro rotation this rotation it must be a crisp value because we cannot specify rotation in terms of fuzzy values so uh, even if high is fuzzy fast is fuzzy but for getting the rotation value we have to defuzzify the values of high and fuzzy sorry high and fast so when we will defuzzify them we will make them crisp value then on the basis of that we can get a crisp result of the rotation value Okay, so that's why in that situation where decision has to be taken on the basis of crisp values, we need to defuzzify. This is the structure of a fuzzy system, how we defuzzify or how uh, specific uh, the logical values where we need to take some decisions uh, take place. So we have crisp input here. This crisp input is uh, directed towards the fuzzy fire. Then fuzzy fire is sending it, it basically converting it into fuzzy values. And these fuzzy values are being sent to inference mechanism. Inference mechanism basically is responsible for taking decisions of different situations. It basically gets its value or it basically takes some help from the fuzzy rule base from where it gets, uh, it's basically a database of different rules uh, that is depending on fuzzy values. And then inference mechanism takes some decision. It sends it to the defuzzifier for conversion of that fuzzy decision into crisp value. And then the defuzzifier converted it into crisp value and we get the crisp output there. So there are several methods for defuzzification purpose. Uh, the four main important that we are going to discuss in further videos are max membership method, centroid method, weighted average method and mean max method. So in our upcoming video, we are going to discuss the maxima methods that is max membership method and mean max maxima, sorry, mean of maxima method. So uh, till then, I just recommend to uh, learn the concept of defuzzification, uh, basically the definition part of that one seriously. And then if you have any confusion in the definition part or understanding of defuzzification, you can make it in the comment section. And for uh, maxima methods, uh, you just have to wait for the next upcoming video. Till then, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.